Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So it has been quite a while since I have taken the STI out for a drive. Uh, the bumper has been off for the last like week and a half or so. I ended up selling off the carbon grill that I had on here and I was waiting for the new uh, OEM style uh, grill to come in to put the bumper back on everything. In the last video, you guys saw me install that. Really happy with the look, it looks great with the gloss black, ceramic coated, everything looks fantastic. It matches the bezels down here, as well as the wheels, as well as the uh, bottom section there, which is in gloss black. So really, really clean look, very, very happy with it. And uh, it flows very well with the style of the car currently, as well as the gloss black roof and everything. So, so it was kind of a match made in heaven after getting rid of all the carbon and kind of demodifying all the exterior. I'm really, really happy with the look, even though it's completely stock pretty much on the exterior. So we're actually going to take this out tomorrow for a drive. Just have some fun, enjoy it, because uh, I really don't get a chance to drive this car much. As you guys know, it is for sale, so I'm trying not to drive it too much, but uh, I'm just kind of want to get the wheels moving, get things going and just enjoy it a little bit, but I don't want to let it sit. So every once in a while I'll go for a drive. And now that I have all seasons on the car, I'm not afraid to go out and drive it in sub 40 degree weather since I normally had summer tires on here and um, you know, I would store it for winter and all that, but it's supposed to be dry tomorrow and, and fairly warm in the fifties. So I figured might as well go enjoy the STI. But before we do that, it is nighttime. It is the night before. I actually need to go out and adjust the truck headlights yet again. Uh, I feel like every video that I have started recently has been adjusting some type of headlights, whether it was these, the truck, but it's just the things that I do throughout the week and I like to capture them. And uh, the truck, I did adjust them as you guys saw in a couple videos ago, but they are still a little bit too high. People don't flash me as much, but I realized in smaller sedan cars that are lower to the ground, they ended up flashing their lights at me saying it's too bright and it's kind of right in their eyes and everything. So I wanted to go over to my spot, adjust them down just a little bit. Uh, so I'm not getting flashed every two seconds when I'm driving down the road. I'm only noticing it more and more since it is daylight savings time now and it's darker earlier and I'm driving at night more often. Otherwise, I didn't notice it as much after I did the front level kit on the truck. Um, so now I wanna go ahead and adjust them. Also, in my last video, I mentioned I had some truck updates coming. Uh, I have the Morimoto uh, Boost Bar here, which is a really cool reverse light that I'm going to be installing but I was waiting on the new Morimoto XB Gen 2 LED taillights. However, I realized uh, today that it was a pre-order, so I'm not gonna get them until January. I thought they were gonna be here much, much sooner, literally this week, but uh, they are actually a pre-order since they are a brand new type of headlight, and uh, I was not aware of it. Not a big deal. I still have really nice Morimoto, uh, the version one taillights on the truck right now, but I was anticipating them coming in and doing a video on them, so that is not gonna be for another month or two, but once they come in, I'll obviously update you guys. I also need to do an oil change on the truck, which is sitting right here. So that'll be another video, but let's head out. Let's get the truck headlights adjusted and finally in the correct spot. So I'm not blinding people when I'm coming down the road. And then I will catch back up with you tomorrow in the STI when we're going for a little drive.
back in my spot. I figured I would just get out of the car, show it to you since we did the new grill. Car's looking great. Oh yeah, also we have less camber in the front, so fitment is much better than what it was. The rear is still pretty aggressive, but it doesn't look as bad as the front did with all the negative four camber that it had. But there is the front grill. I think it looks great. Uh, it really matches all of the gloss black around the car. And um, for kind of loosely demodifying it, but still having it modified, I think it is a really, really nice look. Gloss black on the grill matches the bezels, the roof, the wheels, as well as the lower portion of the mirrors. So it all ties in really, really nicely and uh, it doesn't look over the top or anything. And uh, it kind of sets itself apart from a pretty much stock STI. Granted, the motor and the performance aspect of it is definitely not stock, uh, but overall the exterior is as stock as I can make it <laughs> without making it stock. It's incredible how amazing it feels overall just with all the performance parts on it and it's just a really really well sorted car. So whoever the lucky new owner is going to be they are going to get one heck of an STI. Honestly I don't think there's a better one out there especially with all the performance parts on it and how it was maintained and everything and obviously how it was documented here on YouTube. Uh, it's pretty um, it's a pretty special car and I'm really looking forward to finding that special person who uh, wants to take this over as ownership and enjoy it as much as I have but man every time I take it here in this sunlight the paint looks amazing I love this color so much and uh, I will definitely miss lapis blue but definitely need to clean it up it looks pretty clean on camera but once you get up close you can really tell how uh, dusty it is just from kind of sitting in the garage and everything and not being driven so as you, yeah, you can tell right there, just the uh, dust and everything that's sitting on the paint, but we're definitely gonna clean it up very, very soon. I will be doing a video on that and uh, probably do a wash and talk or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the driving. This thing drives and feels amazing as I mentioned. And it's really nice to be taking this car out in the colder months when normally it would be tucked away in the garage, hibernating until springtime. So it's nice to uh, get some driving in before I move on to the next car. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. In the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.